So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to another edition. Before I start the lecture today, there is an important notice. Before I forget, I will tell that we will not conduct, we will not have lectures. We will not have lectures tomorrow. That is Thursday as well as Friday because there is an important uh, meeting which I cannot avoid. So we will not have lectures uh, tomorrow. That is Thursday as well as Friday, uh, and we will continue again on Monday. Uh, so for the two lectures missed, we have scheduled, I don't know with the, how comfortable you are, but that is the only day available. We have scheduled the 16th of Saturday, the 16th, March 16th, the Saturday, it is a Saturday from 2 to 6 o'clock. Okay. You might be having other classes, but the thing is we have to get a day where the classrooms here are available. So, and Suraj should be available as well because it's on the webinar. So, March 16th is a Saturday. Saturday from 2 to 6 is the time. So, if you are available, you can come. Uh, if not, anyway, we, are having, we have the webinar. You can watch it online as well. So, if possible, you can come. Okay. So, let's look at what we discussed yesterday. Uh, we discussed the marketing mix. Ne? We, for, no, first we discussed segmentation, targeting and positioning. And then we discussed the marketing mix. So, this is what we discussed yesterday. Let me quickly go through this. What is segmentation? Segmentation, as you know, you can either sell it to the mass market or you could select an audience and sell. The process of dividing your audience is what we call a segmentation. So, we discussed that using many examples. So, I do not want to go through that because it is a repetition of work. Targeting is once you have selected that particular lot or after you have divided, selecting the lot. That is the correct word. So, the process of uh, you know dividing is what we call as uh, segmentation. Or a local audience, a Kali Kali, well, the Kadu Nekata, my segmentation can. Aking Oyagi audience, a company audience, a selector and a cutter, we call it targeting. Once you have selected the audience that is targeting, you need to have a positioning strategy. This is what we call as the positioning map, which I forgot to tell yesterday. So, either you can you have four quadrants here high high like a premium product high price high quality so this is the price uh, axis this is the quality axis uh, high the quadrant here is high price high quality so you could say bmw audi things like that moving on uh, a quadrant here would be uh, you can say high quality but then low price so somewhere around here you get the certain toyota toyota prius would be relatively now if you take a Toyota Prius or a Toyota Aqua comparison to a BMW, Ferrari, things like that, relatively lower price, but for the price you pay, you have good quality. Then you got low quality, low price, uh, and then you have uh, low quality, high price. So things like that. That is what we call as the positioning. Positioning is the idea that the company will put into the mind of the consumer to buy the product. Okay. So, we discussed this. That is I am going quickly. Eh? Just And I discussed about these as well. And then we discussed about the marketing mix. The service marketing mix has seven pieces. Yesterday, we went through all of that. And uh, today, we will talk about this. And then we will go to the question. The question that we have to discuss today is the 2017 December paper, no? Yes. 2017 December paper, if you are new, you have uh, the handouts are available there. It's near Suraj, you can, uh, you know, collect one. Okay. Today, we will talk about this, another very prominent area, if you look at my past paper analysis, a CRM, Customer Relationship Management. What is Customer Relationship Management? This is the definition. Uh, it is a business strategy directed to understand, anticipate and respond to the needs of an enterprise, current and potential customers in order to grow the relationship value. Right. Um, 
and then you have the different types of CRM. So, we will go through this one by one. Okay, first of all, what do you mean by CRM? Now, there was a big definition there. What is the meaning of this? CRM, first of all, let us look at the application of CRM. When I tell you the CRM application, then you will understand the definition. Yeah, better. CRM uh, loyalty cards. Loyalty cards is an Loyalty cards is an application of CRM. SMS alerts is an application of CRM. Coupons. Uh, a coupon is an application of CRM. Um, then, uh, if you take uh, birthday wishes, is an application of C CRM. Free gifts. Free gifts is an application of CRM. Now, this is the application. It was happy, but unknown. Make a coma the theoretically. How does it work here? Now, uh, what, what is customer relationship management? That means every company would want to uh, show that they are regularly in touch with the customer. And these are the ways that they will be in touch. Loyalty cards, Nexus, Kiel Super. When you go to Kiel Super, they ask for your Nexus. So, what are the, what is this? This is soft logic insurance. All my cards, my wife has taken, I guess. She's the one who goes shopping. So, Okay. I don't know. But now they don't use the cards, ne? They ask for the mobile number, ne? So yes. But I had a few. Apico, Apico is this Apico, uh, Odell. Is it in another? Ah, I mean, it's in a different compartment, sorry. What is this? Diligence, loyalty cards. MD Gunasena, Odell. This is something else. I don't understand what this is. Anyway, all these are loyalty cards. So, the loyalty cards are issued as a part of CRM. Why? Whenever you go, you get points. When you get points, you can claim it. And then, when you give, when you get points, you will always want to go to that business again. Because when you get the points, you can So, that is one way of attracting you and showing you that, look, we are with you. SMS alerts. Now, I think even if you take your phones, you will see that. I will take my phone because I am the one who is explaining this. See, my phone. First one, Uber Eats. Here is a delicious cure for your midweek blues. Use code number and blah, blah, blah. Pick me. Hi, enjoy 50 LKR off of four rides. I mean, Akila is my friend. Pizza Hut. Please be informed. Pizza Hut LK has been relaunched. HNB, Commercial Bank, KFC, buy one, get one free. Grab 12 piece chicken bucket and get 8 piece chicken bucket absolutely free. All Domino's, all new Domino's family well. One large piece of blah blah blah. Ayyo. Amidia, tailor for trousers, for shirts, or mix of both and get the fifth item. This is a bad deal. Tailor four trousers and four shirts or a mix and get the fifth item free. So, to get the fi fifth item free, hatharak garnu, pasre ni gatamai free. The mahara deal, no, these burgers. Likewise, Burger King, remind on your buy one, get one free. See, bug off strategy. I used to talk about that, ne? promotions. 
SMS alerts is always see. We are giving you new promotions, new promotions, new promotions. That is part of CRM. Coupons, I read one. Pick me said, use this coupon, you can get 50 rupees off, but 50 rupees only. Right? Sometimes they are very cunning. Pick me fellow says, 50 percent off, only up to 200 rupees. 50 percent off, so that means that it's 100 rupees only. But when they use the word 50 percent, you think it's a big amount. Birth wishes, suddenly one person calls and tells you, hello sir. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday also. To see Odell fellows. I have put, when I was filling the card, I have put a wrong birthday. I have just put a birthday that has come to my mind and they are wishing me. That is also part of CRM. Free gifts. Uh, have you seen this? So for certain seasons, especially for the kids, McDonald's, they give these free kids, free gifts, I'm sorry. They give gifts and all this stuff. Uh, if you are a loyal customer in a priority customer in a bank, if there is a new superstar, like a foreign star who has come, they will give you with you and for your family. You can go and watch this particular star. That is also part of CR. So you want to be in touch. Now, theoretically, these are the different types of CRM. Let's look at the first one. Analytical CRM. Sometimes. Uh, you analyze the customer's information, behavior, and you want to be in touch with them. Example, Facebook does this. Now, you know everyone has Facebook or everyone has Instagram. And uh, Facebook filters the information on what you click. Now, you can click the like button. You can click the like button. Now, let's say you can you like cooking, so something related to cooking, you can click like. How to cook a, what? A pizza. How to make a pizza. How to do this pudding or whatever. And then when you scroll down in your messenger, when you scroll down, there will be an advertisement related to cooking. Maybe a TV program. So, what does Facebook do? They recognize your behavior and that information, they sell it to all the companies. They can tell the companies, look, we have a customer database. We know from the entire Facebook users, these are the people who like cricket. These are the people who like cooking. These are the people who like racing. These are the people who like movies. Movies also, Hindi movies, singular movies. They have all that information. So, if you be in touch in these ways, by looking at the behavior, what do you call that as? Analytical CRM. Second one, collaborative CRM. Collaborative CRM deals with synchronization and integration of customer interaction channels like phone, email, fax. Inter uh, collaborative, okay. Uh, this is like the SMS. Now, I just gave you one only. SMS, have, have you got calls from dialogue with nuisance calls? Hello, Uber acquisition in a dialogue, some guy. Uber came to the urine and urine in Oshika take a katagaran. They give calls like that. Uh, suddenly, hello, sir, I'm going to make a police survey. I'm going to make a police survey. Then you say no. And then she says, I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to worry about it, and then I cut the phone, right? Regular SMS, it becomes a nuisance. Emails, check your spam folder, email, go to the spam, you will see all newsletters, this, that, it goes to the spam. That is collaborative CRM. Why the companies want to give information, information? Bigger headache is, no, you don't have a spam for your mobile phone. So it comes to your mobile phone. and all also. You get the idea. Collaborative is this. R using certain modes to be in touch. Operational. Operational CRM is mainly focused on automation, improvement and enhancement of business processes which are based on customer facing or customer support. Ah, okay. Operational CRM is 
you try to be in touch with the customer to make his life easy. I'll give you a good example for this. Uh, recently, when I went to the commercial bank, Colpity branch, when I opened the door, there was a lady who asked me, so how can I help you? And when I said, uh, I came to deposit a check, she directed me to the relevant place. So there is an ushering service. Right? Sometimes when you go to the bank, you're, unless you want to do a fixed deposit, now people go to the bank for various reasons. You want to get a bank balance letter. Then when you go, you don't know whom to talk. And you have to wait and ask someone and blah, blah, blah. It takes a lot of time. So once you open the door, if there is someone there for ushering, it's quick, no? So what do you want? I want to get a letter for the bank balance to apply for my PR. Okay, sir. Speak to this lady. And he, she will introduce. She wants to get. Okay. And then you sit. After your discussion, the person will say, please come tomorrow and they will take your contract. No, actually, I want, I, mean, I applied for my Canada PR and to get the letter, I had to go to commercial bank. So that ushering lady asked me to come. I sat down and they said, give us two days, two, within two working days, we will call you. And then when I was leaving, they took my contact number and they called me and they said, sir, now it is ready. That is operations here. Yeah. Good business processes. See? Good business processes. It's very quick. It's very efficient. It's, uh, it's very uh, convenient. That's the correct word. It's very convenient. Operational CRM. That means through good business processes, you want to be in touch with the customer. Okay. Geographical CRM. What is this? CRM combines geographic information systems and traditional CRM. Geographic data can be analyzed to provide a snapshot of potential customers in a region or planned routes for. Ah, okay, I'll give you a good example for this. For this, you have to take an international business venture. Because that means you want to be in touch with your. Now, CRM is all about me. I gave you the application. CRM is all about how you can be in touch with the customer. So the geographical CRM can how you can be in touch inter, if you have an international business like McDonald's. McDonald's is an international franchise. Ne? How can you be in touch? Okay. They say by having the geographical data. Okay, I'll give you a good example. In Sri Lanka, if you go to the McDonald's, they have something called Sini Sambal Ban in the morning. Sini Sambal Ban. But do you think uh, the McDonald's, uh, France will have Sini Sambal Ban in the morning? No. Why? They don't know what the hell Sini Sambal is. Sini Sambal Dane Lanka in the Gatti. But if you take in France, they give a beer. Beer is available in their McDonald's. Why? France, Italy, it's an alcoholic culture there. Drinking wine, drinking beer is okay. It's okay anyway, again, it's, it's normal with their culture. You will see young girls, just school leavers, drinking beer as if they're drinking water. They drink, I, I don't know how they drink like that. They just drink, in, I'm talking in France, Paris, you just walk by, they're like 15, 16 years old, they have just beer bottles and one after the other, they're drinking as if it's, no, normally you will drink a beer, you go with your friend and sit down and, you know, there's, I don't know how. Right? There's an alcoholic culture. culture you can do. Just imagine McDonald's selling beer in Sri Lanka, Amadhyapa and all this Sena, this Sena will have problems. It, it's not matching with our what? Culture. There you can do it. In Thailand, McDonald's, they they have uh, fried chicken. They do the fried chicken uh, like street food. Uh, because in Thailand, Singapore, uh, the street food is very popular there. Street food. So I went to Thailand last, uh, I think it was last September. Uh, this was Bangkok. Uh, so when we went there, uh, First of all, that was the first time I went to the island and my friend was right, I mean, here we, there is street food and if you want to have, uh, you know, want to buy the clothes for your wife and this stuff, save money with the food. 
and then you see everyone you know having small small huts gas cookers and the food is so oily i mean you will get cholesterol or something and you will die immediately just just it's full of oil they take the chicken they dip it finish and when they take the chicken like this oil is flows like this and the people who buy they take it ah, they take it and they eat it like uh, you know like with the fellows unbelievable i said i'm not going to eat and then i went i went and i found i saw mcdonalds and i which was like seeing god because if i ate that that would be the end of me so i went to the mcdonalds next problem is the language next problem is the language so i go to the mcdonalds i said i want a, a burger and a, a coke so I'm, no 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 i said i want a burger and a coke i said no 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 the meditation i said burger and coke azuna hani ha she doesn't get it then i tried with her accent i want burger ha and a coke ha ah burger ha coke ha ah burger right then then she got it so the accent matters there and when i went there my wife got sick and she got the wheezing so we had to go to the nearby hospital it was a police hospital and then i had to explain what's the problem so it's wheezing so my wife she cannot talk so i took her i go to the reception i said my wife uh huh wheezing we want to nebulize mask ah Ah, they thought that I have a problem, and they took me on a wheelchair. Stupid fellows! They take they take me. So I said, no, no, it's not me. It's my wife, <laughs> and they they took my wife, and it was a hard time to tell. But anyway, coming back to our topic, geographical uh, CRM is where you take information. on an international basis so mcdonalds is a good example likewise we can have so many examples you have to think about an international business and then you will get the idea as how they do it uh if you take uh, certain slogans now if you take coca cola coca cola is international brand they use local celebrities that is because of the geographical crm I saw Coca-Cola. Their latest advertisement was with Bhatia Santosh. Now they can use international celebrities. No, why are they using a Sri Lankan celebrity? Because they want to be in touch with the customers with the easy link. They can use big superstars, but the advertisements use current nine TV. They use Bhatia Santosh. Because Bhatia Santosh is easy to relate to the Sri Lankan audience rather than using someone like Cristiano Ronaldo or someone like that. That is classic geographical CRM. Again, a company, a ka international business, a ka they want to be in touch with the customer using a Sri Lankan link. Okay. Why is CRM important? Uh, it is important because you can be competitive. So we will skip this. Uh, I think the first types are the ones which are important, and then uh, implementing CRM. Yeah, this is one thing I I I already told you. Loyalty cards, I wrote it down. What is this? Front office solutions. Yeah, yeah, front office solutions. Uh, that means guys, a good reception. That is also part of CRM. You know, company get a call from answer get a nick, you know, right? Now, if you take most of the banks, it's automated, no? you you call commercial bank for fixed deposits press 1 for savings accounts press 2 likewise this is what you call you know uh, the the front office solutions how the reception would answer you call dialog and see if your wifi is not working once you call dialog after 45 minutes only they will get to the service provider 
and after that also the lines get cuts. So you have to wait again in the queue. Worst places where they do not answer you properly, recent experience was the Talavatu good uh, Hema's hospital. So my brother uh, gets sick and I wanted to collect an uh, 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 x-ray report. I wanted to collect an x-ray report. So he was in a hurry, he had to go to the Karapiti hospital. He's in Gaul Karapiti, he's a medical student. So I said, I'll collect it for him, the x-ray report. And I'll take a photo and oh, I can send it, I'll give it to you later. So from my home, before I went to the Talavatu go to Hema's hospital, I just gave them a call and this is my experience. This is a very, uh, it's a very nice experience. So first of all, absolutely retarded music. You call Tala, you call it and see when you go home today. Just call Tala to go to Hema's hospital. Tala Vat Hema's Jeevita Ye Sri Lanka. Stupid music. You faint when you hear that music. You get frustrated. Tala Hema's Jeevita something like some Some stupid music. And then one fellow answers. Hello, this is Hema's hospital. How can I answer? How can I help you? I said, uh, I have to collect my x-ray report. Uh, can I tell you the number? Yes, yeah, so give me one second. I will put you to the relevant department. Okay. Hello, this is Hema House Hospital. How can I help you? I said, I have to uh, collect the x-ray report. Just, uh, shall I tell you the number? Uh, so give me one second. I'll put you to the relevant department. Okay, okay. Hello, this is Hema's Hospital. How can I help you? I said, there is this x-ray report I want to collect. Can I tell you the number? So I'll put you to the relevant department. Hello, this is Hema's Hospital. I will not Don't transfer. I'll come and I will kill you. If you have to transfer, you walk and tell the fellow. If not, do not transfer. I will murder you verbally. Okay, sir, so what's the problem? I said, I have to collect my x-ray report. I want the, I just want to see it's, it's, whether it's ready. Don't transfer. Uh, okay, sir, so, so don't, so calm down. Okay. Is it ready? So I put it to the relevant department. Oh, man. Unbelievable. This is half an hour, half an hour of hanging in the call. I kept the bloody thing. I didn't go to call. I went to the Hamas hospital. And this is my x-ray. I go to the x-ray x-ray department uh, place and then there is a nurse I tell her uh, I came to collect my x-ray report okay and now she is checking she is checking small envelopes x-ray ka koma da ni eva ka body envelope hai ka x-ray ka ni logo ka ni eva so I am wondering what what she is talking about she is just checking maung ka x-ray ka koma eva ka body envelope hai ka tiyan vidyak ni eva Oh, near this, sir. <laughs> okay. And she goes, and the head nurse comes. Sir, x-ray report I collect kada? Mang kwa nai balan nai mang. And then she got me the thing. But anyway, this is very bad uh, front office. Front office has to be very polite and they have to be to the point. So that is also part of CR. At the end of the day, anything, at the end of the day, anything, if you're in line with the customer and if you're in touch with the customer, that is part of CRM. Uh, benefits of CRM, so it will help you to be in touch, it will spread the word, uh, you know, benefits are benefits. Right. So, guys, that is enough. We'll now jump into the question. Okay. The question that we are talking, if you're new today, you can grab a docu the, the paper, it's there. Uh, we will be doing the 2017 December paper, no? Yeah. Okay. Can you just read it once more because you would have forgotten it. Just read it once more quickly and then we will read it together. Okay. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन सनी ट्रेवल्स पी एस सी इज अ वेल एस्टेब्लिश कॉन्ग्लोमरेट विद अ ग्लोबल ऑपरेशन नाउ गाइज वेन यू आई टोल्ड यू दिस एट द बीगिनिंग ऑज ऑल द वर्ड्स इन अ क्वेश्चन टेल्स यू समथिंग अदर्स दे विल नॉट मैंशन दैट नो एवरी वर्ड टेल्स यू समथिंग सो नाउ यू डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एट द एग्जाम डे to uh, you know think of it analyze it one by one you know take some time now i have time because this is not an exam i'm lecturing this right but at the exam day you have minimum time so what i am explaining i'm taking some time and explaining it this will has to click within seconds when you read it so this is this is how it would be registered in your mind Sunny Travels VLC is a well-established conglomerate with a global local company. Ka, maybe international lekar netha conglomerate ke liye dhan ne. It's a big company, based in Singapore. All right, they are based in Singapore. It plans to launch two new airlines, both operating from Singapore, which is a hub for air travel. Yeah, that is correct. No, Singapore is a very popular place for traveling, right? Uh, so they want to start two new airlines. The proposed details of the two airlines are given below. Right, number of jets airline fifty airline. Again, maybe airline ne put die. Now you are wondering why fifty ne? Atna two hundred. What's the reason for that? Why not two hundred? Two hundred. Maybe fifty dal atna two hundred dal ne. So we, when you read it, you should get the answer. Seat availability in travel class per jet. Uh, so deluxe premium economy budget. Mukaddami. मुकदमे सूट डिलक्स प्रीमियम क्या नहीं मुकदमे इकोनॉमी नंटी का खरीद तेरे नो बजट टॉस यू अंडरस्टैंड सो नाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इस सूट सूट क्या नहीं मुकदमे की नहीं का दे हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड हियर तो इमीडिएटली मैं वांट रहा व्हाट इस सूट सूट देन हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड मित्र सो यू रीड दैट पैसेंजर्स हैव द From a wide selection of meals from a menu, that is luxury. That means, guys, now, if you have travelled uh, in an airline, you understand. Now, generally, most of us we travel economy. Okay, I I never travelled uh, business class for some. I'm not that rich, so hopefully one day I will travel business class. Suraj is smiling. I never travelled business class, so this. Suit is like business. I normally travel by uh, budget because I'm a poor person, and you know, you understand that. So when you travel economy, the seats are lined up, and if you get, if you are lucky, your economy flight will look like a business class. You know how? That means if there are three seats. And let's say there was one passenger, and you're in the middle. The other fellow is absent. Then you're like business class only. Only thing is you can't have a bed, but very spacious. So you're happy now. So you're seated there, so spacious. You can do this. You can do that. You can do anything. And suddenly, when you're in that happy moment, a big fat guy walks in, and he sits next to you. And that's the end of your business class. And now you're like this, right? But anyway, this suit is a premium one. That means it's a very uh, luxury one. You have seen it. Uh, if you type it on Google, you know you will get it. Hopefully, Chartered Accounts website. Okay, so we'll say business class. Business class uh, seat. Ah, there you go. This is what I'm talking. This is what I'm talking. So I think you get the idea. This is a better picture. So as you can see, I hope it's clear for you. As you can see here, it's good in the computer, but you know, Chartered Accounts is using a projector from uh, the 1800s. What is happening? This is after the. After the agreement between the British and the Sri Lanka, they got this. So, <laughs> oh, it's at the end of its useful lifetime. It's time to replace property, plant, and equipment. Anyway, so they have this, 
and this is the seat and this is what I call it. You know, you could, you know, you could sleep, you could do anything. Anyway, coming back, no, I'm, I showed the picture for a reason. If you read this, okay, if you read this and if you did not get the idea that I just told you, that is a good reason for you to fail. Because you, had, you don't understand. Then make a kiyavala, what a mummy, then kiyavu, ekka waga ulvata gi nattang. That is a reason for you to fail. Then what is the solution for that? Do as much as possible questions so that you will cover as much as possible industries. Am I right? Now make a maitan, make a question, make a palin requirement. Segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Then make a kiyavu gama mea make a dinin. You once you read, you realize this is for the high income earners. Make the end high income and luxury product. So you will not understand it if you didn't get the picture that I just told you. Am I right? Okay, let's read. They make a television, make a meals, this is like superb luxury stuff. Passengers also have the access to shower facilities. You can bathe, uh, you, can, you can do anything you want. Champagne and other beverages are available free of charge. So for your, so that's normal in a business class, eh, man? Passengers have access to lounges in many international airports. Passengers have access to a lounge in many international. When I say lounges, guys, I'll give you a good example. Uh, now I traveled, uh, we went to uh, Thailand. I'll give you the, from the last trip, that was uh, th the Thailand trip. We had to go through Singapore. So Sri Lanka, Singapore, Thailand. In a quarter, there was a uh, six plus two, eight hours transit. And I was happy when they said the transit. I thought I can go to just go out of Singapore and you know do something. The transit is midnight 12 to morning 8. So that was the worst transit ever. And when you go to the Changi airport, which is the Singapore airport, now you want a place to sleep. They call it as the Changi Airport is a huge airport. Huh? It's like the it's like the entire Changi Airport is like the Colombo, entire Colombo town. From one trans from one terminal to another, you have to go by a small train. It's a huge place. I don't know how huge it is. Massive place. So for the people to sleep, they have something called a snooze bar. So you will see uh, in a, it's a small chair, adjustable chair. People are Sleeping. So now you want to see whether you have a small seat. So you want to like, you know, throw one fellow and sleep, but you can't do that. You know, you will get caught to the police. So you go to every place, you can't do that. So lounges in the sense, when you go to an uh, uh, airport, if you have a transit, they will give you a luxury lounge for this. So you can sit, you will get meals there. People come and serve you. Uh, sometimes they have foot massages. Budget fellows, foot massages is that machine. That taka 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 machine. Sometimes it's not a foot massage, it will hurt your hair. One knows. I will do it, I will do it, I will do it, I will do it. So if you uh, go to a place like a suit, uh, there, the, you know, they will, you will have a uh, therapist coming. So this is super luxury. So indirectly they are saying make a luxury. Me ukko me gyan ne make a luxury ke lagyan. Ye toh pala ni question ek segment segmentation targeting position. This is definitely demographic segmentation. High income as well. That's all. That you have to nicely write it down. We will write an answer today, which I didn't do in the last sessions, but I'm going to write an answer. Deluxe seats can be converted into a flat bed like the. But ah, uh, this is interesting. Three piece luggage checked 32 kilograms. Three piece luggage. They allow. So, which is something you now, this weight is a problem when you travel. So, they are giving 32 kilograms, which is a big allowance, right? Deluxe seats can be converted into a flatbed, and the passengers can order from a wide selection of meals from a menu. Uh, passengers also have access to lounges in many international uh, two piece luggage. This is a two, this is a three piece luggage, eh? each one 32, with a two piece luggage. So, suit is the best luxury product and deluxe is better, it's good, 
but not as good as this. So, this is like the second ranked one. Premium economy, more leg space. You understand that? Right? I told you, you have to sit like this in an economy. Arake, you can, you know, sit like uh, Superman. You understand? Can re recline seats. So, I had this bad experience when I went, I traveled in Singapore. The fellow in front of me is, 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 he thinks that the plane is the sea and he is nicely sleeping. Now, the, this lady comes to serve food for me. Now, now when I sit down, my plate is in that fellow's seat. The mata kanna plate taken him. That bug is sleeping like this. The man me ma kanna vinu. So therefore, I asked the fellow. Put, uh, I asked him, can you please put your seat forward? The bug is snoring. <gasps> the bug is snoring like hell, as if he has not slept for the last fifteen years. So and then I got to have a cabin crew fellow and says, hello sir, hello sir, hello sir. And then he got. So that's why your leg space is very no. That is the importance of leg space. I have I have witnessed it. Now with all these stories, although I I say it in a very cynical way. Now, when I tell this, you understand the real background behind this. If you do not understand the real scenario when you read it at the exam day, that is a source for you to fail the exam. That means you have not understood it, right? That is a source for you to fail the exam. Much larger seats can be, passengers can choose from a preset menu, preset menu, okay. Uh, two pieces of luggage, I get 23 kilograms, so this is rank 1, this is rank 2 and this is rank 3, okay. And then we come to economy, okay. Passengers can choose from a preset menu, one piece luggage, passengers can choose from a preset menu, one piece luggage, you think, that is economy, that is what we travel. Budget is like Mihin, Mihin, what did you Mihin Air or Mihin Lanka. Mihin Lanka, na? Mihin Lanka, yes. Budget. Eki Samani Kama then name other. Messengers have to pay a hurry. That means what a body, you know, you have to eat and come. They don't give meals there. No, economy they give, see. Passengers can choose from a preset menu. So that cabin crew person will come. Hi, we have this and that, we have this and that, we have this and this. What would you want? Okay, thank you very much. And then she will go down, she will take that, she will put it, this is for you, and this, blah, blah, blah. So, this is my first experience when I went to Singapore for the very first time. Now, when I went to the airline, uh, I realized beer was available, and then I was not married also. So, I drank beer, 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 beer. I just drank, drank. I just finished about, I think, 15 to 20 cans in this short flight. And I was at a very good level, as if I went for the big match. And then, when I, when I was checking out, the police came. Excuse me, sir, can I have your passport, please? I said, yeah, but I said, what's the problem? Because I was then nicely shaved and I was looking good. I, I don't look like a terrorist or anything like that. So I gave. So you have to go and stay there for a few minutes. We have some questions to ask you. Why? I was thinking something like that. No, no, sir, you have to sit down. I said, okay. Now I'm asking, I said, why are you all keeping me? I'm a tourist here. Uh, no, sir, this is done for your own good. You are too drunk. So we want to, we want you to rest for about half an hour. Otherwise, you will take the wrong bus or train and go to the wrong destination. Manga, no, no, I'm okay. No, no, sir, you're talking nonsense. So please stay here for half an hour, and then we will take you. So I was just, just looking. I was playing games, and I'm just waiting there for half an hour, right? I was okay, but this is a crazy experience. Let's read the rest. Okay, now let's come to the table. Now, when you come to the table, you realize why. Where's Michelle? Okay. Now, you realize why there are 50 jets in airline 1 and 200. Why? See, Sue Deluxe Premium is always in airline 1, zero here. That means economy and budget. Airline 2 is a budget airline. Am I right? So, no wonder they have only 50. 
dining facilities that means eating available free of charge available at a fee okay understood guys the scenario is very clear have you so this is the feeling you should get when you read your scenario at the exam day it has to be crystal clear no doubts it should be like ah ne they are talking about something i really know ne this is i know i know this leg space i know i know this then at the time god when i was learning when i was learning at a particular age i was not aware of all the industries now there will be questions from a uh, industry like pharmaceutical ega product technical so you need to have a background knowledge about it now if it's from an industry you don't know how are you going to apply the theory am i right so it should be from one that you know so how are you going to cover that i used to do as much as possible questions and i always use google to see these images i always use google to see these images pharmaceutical company what are supplements what are vitamins how do they manufacture this i need to know that otherwise how am i going to pass this exam if i don't know what they are talking airlines i know because i have traveled right if it's something like coca cola something like that i know because we have drunk right if it's something that you have associated you know but if there is something that you have not associated in a pharmaceuticals i have never worked in a pharmacy or something like panadol are again there now that i don't know so i need to know how they manufacture how they do the research and development who are the competitors i need to have some kind of idea if i have that idea it's easy for me to apply otherwise it's difficult okay now let's write an answer for this about if you have not gone through this please immediately everyone the ones who are in, in the classroom today you know what i'm talking about but anyone joining us on the webinar uh, if you have not gone through this please immediately go through this this is the past paper analysis where i have summarized all the topics tested from 2018 december this is december to 2015 june right 15 2 16 to 70 so you are looking at eight papers eight papers and if you do all those eight papers see what you are going to learn you are going to learn a lot of industries right so in the when you are reading that question slightest thing you don't understand google it and see for example a, a particular person would not know what is uh, you know private uh, you know they said leg space in a in a airline maybe there is a particular student he, who didn't know that it is done at the you google it and see then you will see it your eyes when you see it your eyes you know what they are talking about okay now let's write the answer for this so let me open a new file for this what is the question this is the question recognize suitable target markets for airline 1 and 2 based on appropriate demographic segmentation variables okay okay four marks you have to find uh, appropriate target markets based on demographic segmentation variables okay now you are thinking for 2 minutes how am i going to structure the answer with the practice of questions you do uh, you will realize immediately this should come to your head if things are not coming to your head that means the number of questions you have attempted is very less now this is what comes to my head immediately when i saw this i will have a topic called airline 1 i will write my target market and i will explain why it says recognize huh? the verb recognize means you have to be very clear මොකද ටාගට් මාකට් එක කියලා හරියට එතන කියන්න ඕනේ they expect that then i will have another sub topic called airline 2 and i will write the target market so let's do that now okay let's increase the font you can see it no okay so i will say airline 1 airline 
What is the airline one? The premium one, ne? Eh? Eki tamai suit deluxe premium. Okay. Is there a name for this company? Sunny Travels. So, you better use the word Sunny Travels. It is recommended for Sunny Travels it is recommended for Sunny Travels to target the high income earners, high income earners under the demographic segmentation and you can underline the word demographic because that was asked in the question make a a basis secretary to write the target market ok. So, that is your first line of first paragraph and now in the second paragraph you are explaining why it is very evident without using a word like it is very clear it is very under some students I have seen in the answers I have checked uh, in the previous revision program sometimes uh, it is very clear without using the word very you can use the word it is it is evident okay it is evident it evident means it is very clear it is evident that the airline one offers a luxury package, a luxury package to its customers. The use of the use of what do they use? What do they say? The use of convertible seats into beds, the use of convertible seats into beds, selection of meals via menu, and lucrative luggage facilities lucrative the word lucrative means beneficial beneficial lucrative means beneficial so you can use that word lucrative luggage facilities proves or justifies that the product offering is for the high end market that means also for the high income you can use the word high end market and this for the high end market. So, basically guys you are giving your if you want you can underline the word high income earners also right you are clearly telling recognizing they said recognize you are clearly recognizing the target market and you are telling why this is your explanation 4 marks ne? so maybe 2 marks are this 2 marks are the other one ok airline 2. It 
it is recommended it is recommended for sunny travels to target the middle and the middle and low income earners under the demographic segmentation under the demographic segment. So, here you can underline the word middle and low income. The product of no, you are selling why? Yeah? The product offering, see guys, as you can see here, this is what we call as white spacing, leaving a line that is very important that shows clarity in the answer. So, white spacing, here also white space. The product offering. includes very basic uh, includes don't use the word very includes basic facilities such as such as a preset menu and Preset menu and average seats. The product does not, the product does not include. the luxury facilities mentioned mentioned no let's let it the product does not include the luxury facilities available available in airline 1 Therefore, it is evident that the product should be targeted to the middle to low income earners. since it is affordable affordable since it is affordable since it is affordable they can buy it they have their income is sufficient since it is right there you go that's it so that's the answer for question six, part A one. Now this is another important thing. When you are writing this at the exam, now you will be writing it. So you will say question number six, A, and this is just a small tip. Uh, question number A, part one. Now students, they they forget to do this also. This is a basic thing that I mean you would have done many exams before coming here. But this is a basic thing. If by chance, if you do not write the proper question number, sometimes it will be a bit confusing. Ne? Right? It will be a bit confusing. Is there a leak or something? 
no ah it's too much of ac okay it's like being in canada okay so if you don't write down the um, you know the the question number it will be a bit confusing when the marker is correcting it so better write it down properly okay that's a small exam tip nothing much but shall we go to the next one what is it say advice the ceo on how to position the above two airlines in the market by using a positioning map that is a fine of i did a i did part one shall we just read the answer for part two because we will not have time to you know write down answers in full let's read the, read an answer for this i think i have the answers with me as well make a december to the no answer right yeah this is the answer that they have given airline 1 blah 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 and they have given the answer separately airline 1 can be the high income and yeah so we have done it separately but that's okay at the same no oh, it's like this guys the, when you are writing an answer these are application questions no so you will not have a fixed marking scheme now if i take 10 15 students here you will be writing 10 different answers in different ways but of bs structuring should be important and it should have the main substance no p k r p o e k a m a they have done it in a different way which is okay now this is how we did it now this is how we did it see how how clear this answer is now if you look at a student who writes and i told this on the first day where you open the answer booklet right you open the answer booklet and you just keep on writing paragraphs right you just keep on writing paragraphs so that is not you that will not give a good first impression for the marker yo me dekka gawa yo me call down the dark leela me ko maruing balanno but when is like this you know ya line one ekata meya diila diina target marker two ekata mekai now let's see mokadda meya leela diyenne kiyala life is easy Okay. Advise the CEO on what? This is advise the CEO on how to position the above two airlines. Ne ha. Okay. How we'll look at? Shall we just think of an answer? How? What should be the positioning? The uh, the positioning of airline one should be high high. The positioning of uh, the airline too is budget no so definitely low price average quality that is where it should be position i showed you that map positioning map right let's check the answer the metana five marks now guys for four marks me chara kathi for four marks is enough check the time and when you are writing this is enough for four marks you can't be writing like two pages for four marks ne Since I wrote a four marks question, I would like to write next question. I let's write a ten marks or you know something bigger. Abi make a leave. Ten marks make a leave. Five marks make a. This is a small one. Abi make a answer. Ah, this is the answer. Okay. Make it on the zoom. Karan. The version is also you know from the British and I guess. the microsoft word a very old one which i don't understand okay not important you can see no there you go when considering the facilities provided by airline one it is more concerned about providing a quality service at a high price Therefore, airline one can be positioned as a premium service provider in the market. True, no? premium is high quality. Premium service provider, like British Airways. If I take it from this industry, British Airways is a, a premium quality airline. A K business class will be a niche market. Right. Airline two is catering to the budget travellers. 
at a lower cost by providing limited uh, sources or facilities. If they need meals and extra facilities, it will be provided at a fee. So, airline can be positioned as low quality, low pressure. In the diagram, I, maybe they have the diagram. Ah, yes. See. So, airline 1 is here. So, you can draw the diagram also. And airline 2 is here. That is very clear, no? very transparent. Okay. What's the next one? Explain the service marketing mix that you could recommend for airline one, that is the, the premium one. Eh? Okay, shall we write an answer for that? How do you write a 10 marks question? Okay, this is 10 marks. So guys, first of all, now you're planning this. This you can do it in a piece of paper. So now service marketing mix, explain. So what do I get in the service marketing mix? I have seven pieces. Product, price, place, promotion, and then I have uh, people, physical attributes, and uh, processes. Ne? Yes. Um, so now, how am I going? Now you're thinking, how am I going to structure this? So I can have small headings for the seven piece. Then, student might uh, are we supposed to write all the piece? Yes. Right? If you can, good. No, it's like this. You can write all seven piece. There will be some questions that you will get under the marketing mix where you can't write an answer for all the seven piece. Mm -hmm. Then it's okay. Select the piece that you can comfortably write and then write it. If they very clearly say like this, explain the service mark, uh, explain the following in the service marketing mix. Place, promotion, people. If they clearly see, then only do those three. They make if they are broad, explain the service marketing mix. So I think we can write all seven. And ten marks. So ten marks for ten marks, yes. So now picture for ten marks, how much time can I take? And for that picture, how much I am going to write? That you have to calculate in your mind quickly. And the structure now already it is in your mind. They make a key structure. Product. Topic kya gata, ek explain price topic explain kara. Like this is how I'm going to write it. Okay. This is so you will say this is part B. We we'll start with product. This is airline one. Ne? Explain the service market name is only for airline one. Na? Now you have to be very careful. Don't write about airline two or both. Some students, when they see, see, I, sometimes people write the wrong answer. When you see, explain the service marketing mix, some people they forgot the question and they, like, they are like, oh, I know service, I know, I know, I know, I know. Now I am going to hammer here, la. product ke ara airlines de kama kena, he has written. Where they have asked only about airline 1. So, be very clear about the requirement. Read it twice or thrice, it, it does not matter. Information you can read only two times. You read once. Then you read the requirement, I am all correct point take a khoyaga no no tama, you will go again. If not, no point reading the scenario for three times. But the requirement, because it's small, you can afford to read it about you know two, three times. That is okay. Hurry. This is airline one, ne? Hurry, okay. Let's write. Product. Okay. Product is airline. Two, sorry, airline one offers a luxury product. The facilities mentioned under suit, the facilities mentioned under suit, deluxe. Pre, comma, what was the other one? 
like see now I'm going no. Likewise you can quickly go and come. Otherwise you don't have time to read it again. Premium economy ke lega tiyan. And premium economy. Premium economy is there. Is there? Airline man ke premium economy tiyan is. Economy. Clear uh, premium economy justifies that a unique product that a unique product is offered to their customers. Hence, high income earners, high income earners are targeted. If you want, you can just edit also are targeted. Hence, high income earners are targeted based on the nature of the product offering. So, because it is a luxury product, we are targeting high income earners. Right. You nicely leave one line to show that you are done with that product versus next one price. If you want, you can underline also. Okay, price. Sunny Travels, Sunny Travels should charge a premium price, a premium price for airline two. To the point, so airline one, what am I talking? Sunny travel should charge a premium price. Airline. Now you are explaining why. This is because the price should reflect. May premium price there is another word you use you call market skimming. Okay. Premium price you come on. Now. This is because the price should reflect the perceived quality. Perceived can a customer value may price that come at the unknown make a more quality product. Now a quality product, if you put the price down. People uh, judge the quality looking at the price. So, sometimes you might, you know, put down, downsize the product. So, that you have to mention. This is because the price should reflect the perceived quality of the airline, of the airline services. Further, by charging a premium price, Sunny Travels would filter the high end customers.
by charging a premium price. Sunny Rebels would fail to high end customers. to offer to uh, to cater to cater the services of airline to that means because you are charging a premium price you will be targeting again the you know the the, the high income earners high end customers is the same meaning product price place product price place so you can see that i left one line i don't know it's clear i left one line now i'm writing about place sunny travels i'm using the comp name of the company regularly you know by sunny travels should should maintain a good network with ticketing age ticket ticket counters with ticket counters with ticket counters air travel agencies online ticket uh, online garnat bolane online ticket booking websites so that the product is available for purchase for any customer who wishes to travel on airline 1 without using this word good you can use the word robust that's a nice word robust is also good but it's a nice english word robust is healthy relationships ticket count entity ticket count entities air travel agencies online ticket etana ne ganna pula me tickets ganna etana ne air travel agencies online ticket booking website so that the product is available for purchase for any customer who wishes to travel on airline one so guys what is place from where you can buy it to know the name again the etika auto mention karana do idin product price place promotion Sunny Travels should promote the airline should promote the airline through selected advertising alternatives since the product is targeted at
high income earners TV radio advertisements should be placed TV TV radio TV radio advertisement should be placed in channels where the former customers where the where the former customers are viewers and listeners if it's radios is listeners you know? further social media media campaigns would also add value since it is since it is popular among all generations now oh, everyone is on facebook no Right, that is promotion. So, where you good, you know, advertise this. You know, if you want, you can write some more sponsoring or giving a gift, uh, giving a free ticket, sponsoring an event where the winner gets a free ticket. Yeah, then we can promote our airline. Right, maybe an awards night, awards night of a company. The person who becomes employee of the year. You get a trip to go to Singapore in airline one promotion. So you can ride, but you have the time is also a problem. Are we have run the four piece? What's the next one? Product price place promotion. We'll write. Uh, we'll write uh, people. These are. The individuals these are the individuals that directly engages with the customer. Sunny travels. No, no, no need right now. It engages with the customer when providing the service. In the air in airline one. Um the uh, how the thing when you travel in airline who first of all the cabin crew ne? the cabin crew members the cabin crew members uh, the pilot the pilots if there are more than one and all other members should offer a qualitative
service by being polite and courteous courteous to the customers okay Then, the people, I, I gave you example yesterday, you know, who are people? As I said, when you go to McDonald's, people are the, pe uh, the, the people who connect with the customer. So, when you go to McDonald's from the place where you would park your vehicle in the car park, from the security guard to the guy who takes your order, and when you are leaving the guy who opens the door, that is people. So, they have to treat you nicely, otherwise you will not come back again. So, now in an airline, how do you apply that? Airline, you think cabin crew, ne? Cabin crew members, when they come in Sri Lankan airlines, they say, I born. When you are going also, they say, I born. Even the airline crashes down, they will say, I born. Right? So, the Singapore Airlines pilot, they are the ones who say, you know, uh, please uh, get ready with your headset and the earbud pieces. In a moment's time, we will be taking off. There will be a slight... Uh, uh, Jester, please be, please put your seat belts and uh, we hope to be at Singapore at 9.45 a.m. Uh, and I wish you all the best. We have to wish the fellow all the best because if he does something, come here, right? Right? He is wishing us all the best. And then they play that video. That video says, good, uh, uh, welcome to Singapore Airlines. And then the last part of the video, this shocked me on the very first day. I think that's why I drank also. It says, in the case of an emergency and they are showing you how to put the jacket where you have to jump out of this out of the airplane they say in uh, if you move right there is a small this thing there is a parachute kind of thing. if by the time you crashing down they say first of all take a deep breath him a panic setting cover us market i mean nanny pull one thing cover you are trying to somehow escape so that may be the reason why I had to drink so much, but uh, on a serious note, uh, they should be, no, just imagine cabin crew fellows, when they come and sir, they, hello sir, how are you, what do you want? Some people, when they are passing by also, they ask you, hello sir, as if they know you, they don't know you, hello sir, how are you, said, doing good, I said, do you want anything, uh, uh, maybe another beer, oh sure sir, no problem, they give it to you, blah, blah, blah. And then you get this cashew nuts and all this. So when you're going for the first time, you know, you also, you also want to get the maximum out of the airline. And you, you try to eat everything. But anyway, people has to be a good service. And when they're leaving also, they say, have a, have a, a safe journey and all the best. So that should be there. Should you understand me? Right. More than anything. People. Process. Let's say process. Right, process. The mitra processes can then then airline once you take the ticket when you come to the airport, let's say you have to wait in the airport for about 12, 17 hours. And you get frustrated on where you're going also. Checking time, they are checking each and everything. They are checking your hair also, whether you have a bomb inside your hair. So they are checking each of your luggage, your bags and everything. And it's taking a lot of time. There is one place where you have to remove your shoe and give also. Can you please remove your shoe? My shoe, why? No, you have to. And they put everything. Your watches, this thing. You have put the shoe and everything in a tray. And they put the tray and that goes with like a roller thing and it comes from the other side. And now you have to put that again. So if you are wear, never, you should never wear socks. If you are going on a trip, better to wear slippers and go. Others, if you are just, you are in full suit. You have to remove everything. And when you put everything, the, the, the flight has gone also. The Ehema Gannon, I thought, are very bad processes. Process should be tuck, 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 tuck. You go check in, bye bye. You should. So we'll write that. This is where. This is where. The services offered.
should be convenient. Convenient from the perspective. That means from the eyes of the customer, from the perspective of the customer. The procedures such as checking in, checking in, checking out, checking out, checking out, and all other formalities should be should be should be should be uh, convenient he wrote convenient, but it's okay. Convenient for the customer. Should we? Yeah, that is what you call process. Procedures. Checking in, checking out, it should be very. Right, what's the last one? Physical attributes. That better go. Dakli and Nadbe, because it may get the 10 marks. So we have written here. But if you want, I told you, if you want, you can add more. Implement uh, implication oriented answer writing. Physical attributes ne? or physical environment. Both are the same thing. Okay, what is physical attributes? This is the uh, you know, this is the ambience and uh, this is the environment. Now, when you come to a place like, uh, you know, a restaurant at Hilton Hotel, the restaurant is in a very, there is a nice, there is let's say very nice music, right. We call this as uniformity. Right? Now, if you take, if you go to a McDonald's, you see that M and then you see the McDonald's, you buy anything, you have that lower. When you buy a burger from McDonald's, the 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 what do you call the the tissue the tissue has the McDonald's logo. The tray has the McDonald's logo. The burger, the bag they give has the McDonald's logo. It is a box, McDonald's logo. Same colors. What do you call that as? Physical attributes. Now see, I told you chartered accounts, their color is red, no? That is why the seats are red. That is they would have put like multicolors. No? It is red. That is the, that is the, that is what we call as uniformity. So when I was leaving yesterday, Suraj was saying the singular word for that is ananyatave. So which is correct? uniformity right? So uniformity. So you need to have uniformity. If you take pizza red and black and the pizza logo, pizza they don't write pizza hut in different fonts. Ne? The pizza hut logo is written like this. Anyway, pizza hut. Now, if you don't see pizza hut like this, no, pizza and hot dogs. They don't write it like that. In 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 Talavatu Goda, one pizza hut, other another pizza. No, they don't write. It. It's everything's the same. What do you call that? That is physical attributes. Every outlet has the same color T-shirt. Talavadu Goda will not come in a skinny and a shorts, what the fellow from a sarama and no, it doesn't come like that. They come with the trouser, hat, hat. They have the hat. And the bikes are also colored in that way. You will not get a blue color bike, pink color bike, no. Red and black. It's black and small red stripes. So we'll write that. So make a Um Physical attributes would be the uh, the ambience, the environment, uniforms, why? Uniforms, 
Sri Lankan airlines, we wear the ladies, they wear saris, no? That, that it's like a green and you can peacock, peacock color sari ka kadi neglo. Then if you take uh, Kata Airways, they wear that red, uh, red one. And they have a small kind of, a, I don't know, it's like when you pay, play in the western band, you wear a hat, and you wear a hat, the green. No? So that is the, you know, physical attribute. So we will write that. The the ambience created, the ambience created needs to ensure uniformity in in every airline one. In every airline one. The combination of colors used, the uniforms of the cabin crew, the uniforms of the cabin crew, the the shape and structure of the of the materials used the interior design of the airline has to be under one theme within brackets ensuring uniformity uniformity same thing This this would assist or this would result in sorry, this would result in this would result in positioning the brand the brand the brand attributes in the mind of the customer. This would result in positioning. This would result in positioning the brand attributes in the mind of the customer. So, there you go. That is the answer for 10 marks. Right. Okay. Uh, so, we will uh, read the last one and then we are done. Uh, you know, we could wind up the session maybe. Uh, so, this is the last question that we have to do. C. Explain to the CEO how the marketing division, Sunny, uh, marketing division of Sunny Travels could benefit from using CRM. This is of course, guys, make a way. This is very, uh, this is of course, you will have to directly take from the study text. Very little you can take from the, from the scenario given. But when you are writing your answer, better to use the word sunny travels regularly, show that you are in line with the information. So, let us read the answer. How C I explained what CRM is, no? So, shall we read the answer for this? There you go. So, it says CRM is the establishment, development, maintenance, optimize long term mutually valuable relationships between consumers and organizations. To develop relationship with customers, it is not sufficient to simply gather information about them. This information should be put into use in a way that strengthens the bond between the company and the customer. 
Now I told you, some, now they have not asked to explain what CRM is, no. But the chartered accounts examiner always does that for some reason, I don't know why. Explain to the CEO how marketing division of sanitizers could benefit from using CRM. To increase sales. So directly you can jump to the point, but for some reason they, he, he briefly explained. So you should follow that. If the examiner is doing that, better to follow it. Ne? Okay. How? Dealing with industrial customers, the company could communicate with the industrial customers regularly. They can use to obtain about customers, future intentions, buying preference to make, selling propositions, packages, yes. Now, when you have the database, when you have the database, you can come up with packages to your customers. This is the airline, no? So, you could say, April, for the April holidays, this is our package. No, I'll read some packages that I get regularly from a friend of mine who sends me this. So, this is directly. Amazing offer to uh, Pattaya and Bangkok. Four nights, five days, group tour starting from 77,100 LKR. That is the package. That's what they're talking about. Dealing with repeat customers for consumer goods or services, the company, repeat customers. The company can have a record of customer details and their preferences, so that if there are any sales promotions, travel certain countries, they can inform the customers about these promotions well in advance. Yes. So now you know the customers who have traveled to Singapore. A database I can Customers who have traveled to Europe. It's there in the database. Right? It's very simple. Pizza Hut also does this regularly. No. When there is, I normally, when I order the pizza, I order the fish one. The devil fish one. So, if there is some package offer related to fish, seafood, they will, I think they target us. Because they know that this guy likes fish for some reason. So, the airline knows who went to Maldives, who went to Africa, who went to Vietnam, who went to Turkey, who went to uh, Europe. So, they can come up with new promotions when they are promoting a travel to that particular country. Understood. Using the knowledge about customers to improve service. If Sunny Travels PLC, see, the examiner is using the word Sunny Travels. I told you that is a technique you use to show that you are taking information from the scenario. Otherwise, you would have used the word company there, no? The company. Better to use Sunny Travels. Now, in ours also, we did that. If Sunny Travels is able to establish a database of its customer, it will encourage customer loyalty. You will. Now, when you, it's like when you want to go to a food city, you always select Kiel Super. Now, there is a trend like that. If your father was a chartered accountant, CA Sri Lanka member, he will want the son also to be like that. There is a small trend like that. So, you get repeat customers. Likewise, you have you are very comfortable with Singapore Airlines or whatever, you will always go for Singapore Airlines. That is repeat customers. Using knowledge of the customer to send personalized sales promotions. The company can use the knowledge of the customers to send personalized communication by emails or letters, providing information about new products. Definitely, yes. Now, guys, I know. Uh, I come from a CIMA background, so when we have lectures for the higher levels, we have the database of the foundation, the guys who came for foundation. So we keep on sending these letters for these fellows, whether they like to read it or not. So I think their entire post box is full with, you know, leaflets and all these pictures of us and anything. They, when they see our pictures, they don't like to see because they are seeing it regularly. So you can keep on sending emails, letters, and now the latest one is this. SMSs, ne? see, even I think even if you take your, because when you buy something from Pizza Hut or KFC or wherever, what's the first thing they ask? So, what is your mobile number? So, then everything gets tracked through it. Improving customer loyalty is by showing the company knows about the customer personally. I'll tell you, nice. this is, this is one thing that Pizza Hut did. I ordered, so this is takeaway. 
and after he took my order, he says, sir, you have a 10% uh, sir, ape regular customer in the 10% discount. I said, so they have a policy that if you reorder pizza within 10 days or something like that, you get a discount. But that is not how he told me like that. Now, he didn't say, sir, ape policy gati, you know, within 10 days reorder karo ten. He didn't say like that. You know how he was trained to say. Uh, hello sir, sir, you regular customer in the you ten percent no. When he says like that, I feel more happy and I feel uh, I feel a lot of love for Pizza Hut, no? When they are treating me like that. But actually speaking, it's a company policy to be close. See, that is this improve customer loyalty by showing the company knows about you. Analyze information to understand more about the customers to satisfy them. So guys, these are very, even you can think and write these also. Right? You can think and write these as well. So, so that's about it. So, a kind uh, uh, reminder again, we will not have lectures tomorrow and on Friday. Because there is an unavoidable, because of unavoidable circumstances. But we are going to reschedule the lecture on the 16th Saturday from 2 to 6. So, I think from day 1, you are the one, you all are the ones who came for the lecture regularly. So, so I think it is very clear. If there is any one of your friends who are wishing to come, ask them not to come tomorrow and day after. You can come on Monday. So, guys, thank you very much. I hope this lecture benefited you. Uh, so, I will see you next Monday. Thank you very much and good night.